Crato, when he had sufficiently informed his melancholy patient of diet, air, exercise, sleep, concludes it remains to correct the maladies of the mind. Yea, this is excellent good indeed if it could be done, but how shall it be performed? The wisest men, greatest philosophers cannot moderate themselves in this behalf. How shall we that are already crazed resist? I may not deny but our ta passions tyrannize of us, yet there be means to curb them. You must endeavour to resist and withstand the beginnings. Yea, but we can easily give counsel to others. If you were in my misery, you would find it is not so easily performed. You may as well bid him that is diseased not to feel pain, as a melancholy man not to fear, not to be sad. It is within his blood, his brains, his whole temperature. It cannot be removed. But you, you may choose whether you will give way too far unto it. You may, in some sort, correct yourself. We may overcome passions if we will. If then my judgment be so depraved that I cannot moderate myself. The best way to ease melancholy is to impart our misery to some friend, not smother it up in our own breast. Alitur vitium crescit que tegendo. A friend's counsel is a charm, like mandrake wine, it assuages our care. Yet note, when the patient is not able to resist or overcome these heart-eating passions, his friends or physician must be ready to supply that which is wanting. Many are instantly cured when their minds are satisfied. No better way to satisfy than to remove or avoid the cause or occasion if we may find it out. Fair promises, good words and gentle persuasions are to be used, not too vigor rigorous at first, but if mild courses, promises, comfortable speeches and good counsel will not satisfy, then handle them more roughly. Threaten and chide, terrify sometimes, or have them to be lashed and whipped. When uh, none of these precedent remedies will avail, sometimes it is not amiss to deceive them. A woman swallowed a serpent, as she thought. Her physician gave her a vomit and conveyed a serpent, such as she conceived, into the basin. Upon the sight of it, she was amended. A gentleman of Sainis in Italy was afraid to piss, lest all the town be drowned. The physicians caused the bells to be rung backwards and told him, The town is on fire! Whereupon he made water and was immediately cured. <laughs>